Here is a 2024 BMW 430i Coupe in black sapphire metallic over Tartufu perforated Syntec interior. It got a refresh for 2024 in the interior. The dashboard is gonna be laid out with the new one panel, two screen display, new rocker to put it into drive. But outside, we get the same performance. I'm Anthony from Hawkeye Rides, and I'm going to explain what the difference is from a 23 to a 24, some comparison, and it begins with these sleek LED headlamps and daytime runnings that integrate into the active kidney grill shutter with the chrome surrounding both of the double bars. On the lower, you'll get the air curtain, over four and a half inches of clearance, and because this is a four series, you have a more dynamic hood layout. Sweet spot would be more of the M440i with 382 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. Here, 255 horsepower, 295 pound-feet of torque, 2.0 liter inline four-cylinder twin power turbo, which is a twin scrolled turbocharged engine paired to an eight-speed ZF automatic transmission. M Sport package, that's what we have with these 19-inch multi-spoke gloss black alloy wheels. Because we do not have the M Sport Pro package, we don't get the brakes. So no four pistons in the front, no brake calipers are gonna be painted, but we have the M Sport suspension. Standard brake setup, so it's a 13.7-inch disc reading for the front, 13.6-inch is the rear. 51.7, 48, 0.3 weight distribution and it's going to sip fuel because this is the rear wheel drive at 25 mpgs for the city 34 mpgs for the highway because it's rear wheel drive it's going to be a little bit more playful because you're not getting the all-wheel drive system or the x drive option the m4 competition which will boost this to 503 horsepower it's not going to be the same engine though that's going to be the i6 twin turbo engine and that's going to reach 60 at 3.4 seconds here you're going to reach it at 5.5 seconds with a top speed at 130 miles per hour change the wheels to performance and you're going to max it to 155 miles per hour so it's a fast vehicle by all means led tail lamps trunk lip spoiler that gets the gloss black and it keeps the dynamic proportions on the lower a dual exhaust with the diffuser in the center the side vents it looks more athletic than a Mercedes and an Audi combined. Quick release going into 12 cubic feet of storage with a storage nook on the side and a cover here so nothing just rolls around. Split fold the rear bench in the back at a 40-20-40 split with a bag holder here. This will increase your cargo to the 430i coupe. This is a twin power turbo. Let's go inside, start it up so you can hear that exhaust note. The refresh 430i coupe starts off with this one screen panel. Headroom at 38 inches, legroom at 41.8 inches. It's going to be a more sport design. The center cluster and the dashboard has been reconfigured and it starts off with this curved one panel, 14.9 inch touchscreen with navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Sirius XM, AM, FM, streaming Bluetooth audio. Slide it over for your quick wedges. Click onto these four dots. 5G capabilities, put it into reverse with the reverse camera, full trajectory, the front and rear parking sensors. Going into the Tetracon dashboard layout, rework air vents, and inside a wireless charging pad, USB, and a 12 volt. The new rocker to put it into drive with the ambient lighting iDrive 8, which is also touch sensitive. It's going to be more sporty for your arms open up inside. It's a medium sized storage pocket with a USB, three spoke leather wrapped steering wheel, heated with the M badging, multi function at the paddle shifters. The gauge cluster has a 12.3 digital gauge reader. 
that can go through an array of information for the driver. So you can change the content into the center. And you also have a heads up display premium package and you can change the whole layout for that too. The dashboard is going to have more of a sporty design. Ambient lighting will surround the lower bit 12-way power seat adjustment for the front occupants, heated front seats with manual cushion extensions, memory for the driver. The door panels start off with the speakers that are in the side, everyday materials, and it's gonna be more sport derived, one touch up and down for the windows and a medium sized storage pocket with the beverage holder carved out and a power sunroof for the front occupants. Getting into the back seat, pull the lever, it's going to adjust for the back seats, headroom is going to be a little tight. Legroom at 34.5 inches. So it's also going to be harder for somebody that's six foot tall, especially here. You can see I'm pretty much against the area that I'd rest. Cup holders here in the center will lift this up. Third climate control setting with the air vents in the center. No storage behind any of the front seats, but you get a little storage pocket that's pretty deep right here and a little arm rest with a large window and you can hang up your clothing. The first test has to be is 255 horsepower and a 5.50 to 60 fast enough. Sport mode, let's see. Even though we don't have M Sport brakes, they still do a good job braking. Near 50-50 weight distribution, rear wheel drive so you can have some fun. Holds itself very good. On the out. What I like about these twin scroll turbocharged engines is that they are just ready at any level. And because it's BMW, you have dynamics behind it, so it's an everyday fun drive. Now it was gonna take me to some pros and cons and starting off with is what I like. The refresh, they did a good job. I mean, the screen integrated well into the dash. I don't like the heads up display hole because it almost looks like a pothole that's on the road, but inside the interior. The center here has been cleaned up. So you got the new rocker that has been derived out of the three series and ultimately out of a lot of the part spins of the BMW but it gives more of an airy feel. It's gonna take a little bit to get used to because I am still used to a shifter here. I do like the iDrive 8 because now it's coming standard with the touch and the gesture control, which in some models last year, they were taking it out and because of the chip shortage, it was hard to get either of the two put together. It doesn't feel like it sits too low to the ground, which is a good thing. They didn't change anything for the dynamics. It's the same weight, same weight distribution, same power. But because it is a coupe and not the grand coupe, it's going to be a little bit more noisy. It's going to be a little bit more tight in the back seat, a lot less cargo because the grand coupe can go up to nearly 50 cubic feet of storage for your cargo. Leg room isn't sacrificed for the front occupants. And I do like that you still have amenities in the back seat, even though it's really kind of hard to fit back there. The width of the vehicle doesn't project too much, but it has more of a sporty cue, meaning it feels dynamic even when you drive this car regularly. I wish it had an active exhaust though. That's why the M440i is that more sweet spot, not just because you get more horsepower and torque and quicker zero to 60s, but you can also option that and it sounds throatier in that i6 turbocharged engine. You can get up to 503 horsepower out of the M competition, which is insane. It increases 30 horsepower more and you get almost 480 pound feet of torque. Zero to 60 with this vehicle can go as low as 3.4 seconds. So it does show you as you go up the tier, you knock off that zero to 60 quite quickly. It is kind of track derived when you're at that level. Here, you can tune the engine. That's what I do like about these i4 turbocharge. And comparing it to Audi and Mercedes, this feels a lot more dynamic, especially when you push the gas. It has a little bit more of a pep feel to it, pushing you back, and it's not even 300 pound-feet of torque. The steering has a little bit of weight to it because it is a little bit lower. 
And I like that about BMW because it's not all artificial. When you go to Mercedes and Audi, it starts getting a lot more light, but then you're losing the feel in the drive. The seats are going to be a little bit more sporty in this compared to the Benz. Benz is going to be one of the more comfortable. The Audi is going to look a little bit more dated in the interior. The exhaust will filter in through the interior on sport mode a little bit more so. And this is gonna be the same thing with Audi and Mercedes. Turn radius at a stop point more or less. It's gonna get about a lane and a part. Give her a little go in this rain. And even with these rain conditions, it stays planted. That's why I wanted to really show you and emphasize the power from that little quick U-turn because it really does change the ball game when you're looking for a everyday drive vehicle and fun packed in one. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Check out the next video, the merchandise website, Instagram. Leave a comment and a like. And I'd like to thank BMW of Wesley Chapel for giving us this 2024 BMW 430i Coupe for our car review.